you are driving a car and suddenly you stop by seeing traffic light turn red. You also notice that your fuel tank is going empty soon and you are driving without wearing seat belt. These are some examples of indicators that we come across in our day to day life. To indicate means to show or signal direction or warning or simply it suggests how much progress we have made. For example, water purifier you are using at your home shows the water level in the tank. When we talk about country, level of literacy, homelessness or income tells us about the social indicators. While GDP, CPI or level of unemployment point out towards the economic status of the country. Now question may arise, what signals out the health situation of the country? Here comes the importance of health indicators. Friends, today we are going to talk about health indicators and its role in shaping health status of the country, types of health indicators and which are the characteristics of health indicators. Let us first talk about use of health indicators. Health indicators are used to measure health of the community, to describe the health of the community, to compare health of the different communities, identifying and prioritizing their health needs, planning and evaluation of health services, and last but not least, to measure success of the action taken to improve the health of the community. Now let us look at the characteristic of health indicators, which is almost true for any kind of indicators. Our indicators should valid, reliable, sensitive, specific, feasible and relevant. Now valid means they actually measure what they are supposed to measure and reliable means answers should same if measured by different people in similar situation. Sensitive means they should reflect the changes in the situation concerned. Specific means they should reflect changes only in the situation concerned. Feasible when we are able to obtain the necessary information. And relevant means they should be related to phenomena we are studying. The purpose of these qualities of this indicator is to make sure that we are comparing an apple with an apple. In the health sector, indicators can tell us about the quality and effectiveness of various interventions or treatment. They can tell us about health outcomes, quality of care and even how well public money is being spent. Which are the types of health indicators? Well, there are 12 different types of health indicators used in health. Mortality indicators, morbidity indicators, disability rates, Nutritional Status Indicators Utilization Rates Indicators of Social and Mental Health Environmental Indicators Socioeconomic Indicators Health Policy Indicators Indicators of Quality of Life Other Indicators Let us now talk about some common examples of health indicators. Infant mortality rate and maternal mortality ratio are commonly used mortality indicators, which indicates status of maternal and child health in community. Incidence rate and prevalence rate are commonly used morbidity indicators. Collie quality adjusted life years and DALI disability adjusted life years indicators are used for disability. The prevalence of low birth weight indicates the nutritional status of the community. Doctor-patient-nurse ratio are indicator of health care delivery. An indicator acts like a flag and draw our attention to something that's going on and makes us ask questions. Questions like, what does this data mean? When we look at trends, are we getting better than before? Why did we get this result? Are we providing the proper care? How are we doing compared to peers or others? An indicator provides a standard way of measuring and comparing a problem or area of focus. The standard and comparable information help us understand how well we are doing and where we could improve. These indicators are expressed in quantitative terms. 
and help us measure things like appropriateness of care, quality, efficiency, and safety, and to give us a basis for comparisons. So, health indicators are vital tools to help anyone who monitors and manages the health of a population and how services are being used. So friends, this is all about health indicators. Health indicators are very important and vital aspect of health services which help us to determine which things needs to be improvement and which things need to be changed or modified. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, you will also love to watch this video. See you in the next video really very soon.